Hi Scorpio, welcome to your general reading for the second half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need. Personal reading information, decks I'm using, social media links, tons and tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out. Thank you to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal readings, and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is greatly, greatly appreciated. So all your support really means a lot to me, and I really do love doing this for you guys. So any support you wish to give the channel, even if it's just a like, comment, whatever there is greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you so much. Okay, so let's get started with Scorpio, this will be your general reading for the second half of September, but if you can fit it into your life in any fashion, whether it's in love or something else, then please feel free to do that, but I will read it as a general reading. I do my love reading separate. So, this is for Scorpio. Hope everybody's doing well, heading into fall. Okay, so what do we have for Scorpio? If you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus. So you could have an Aries around you, some way, shape, or form. Could be a uh, co-worker, family member, friend. You could have Aries in your chart. Um, or somebody could have Aries heavily in their chart. Aries in the um, tarot represents, in the major arcana, represents does represent the tower and it does represent the emperor so you're either taking control of if you don't if you're not dealing with an Aries or something like that it could be some of you are dealing with some sort of tower moment or you're finally taking control of something of your life of a situation and it may not be any of those things at all and um, that's totally fine you may not resonate with Aries, but the rest of the reading may be for you. So if you clicked on the title, then there's probably something in here for you. Alrighty, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Alright, so let's get into what's going on overall, kind of like an overall energy for Scorpio, one card. What's going on with Scorpio? Second half of September Spirit, please. Can we have one card for Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio? Thank you. Okay, so we have communication is key. New moon in Gemini. So Gemini season just went by uh, the beginning of June. So it was a few months ago, two and a half months ago. But communication here, so... You could be taking, finally taking the lead, taking control, and communicating something here. I don't know. We'll see. We get into the tarot. I'm just curious what the next card is. So, on the bottom of the deck, we have bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. So, hmm. let's see what's under that. So bring love into the situation, new moon. So love and communication is needed in some way, shape, or form. Hmm. Ah, you need to step up and speak up, take control and speak up in a situation, but doing it, doing it in a loving way. I don't know, we'll see. We shall see. Is going on with Scorpio. Why do they have this energy here, spirit, please, of communication and bringing love into a situation? All right, so we have, okay, so we have the magician here. Um, this is manifesting a brand new beginning here with Archangel Raziel. You can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear, successful beginnings. And the magician is Gemini and Virgo. So now we have the four of wands here, the four of Gabriel. Time for a celebration, abundant rewards for your hard work. Release yourself from burdensome situations. So 
I believe that's the four of wands. Yes. So, so you're, you're manifesting a brand new beginning here and has something to do with your, um, your stability in your home life. Hmm. I don't know. So let's get more. Let's see. Let's get more. What are you manifesting? Huh. So we have Queen of Raphael and Page of Raphael. Two uh, cups cards here, which is water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Queen of Raphael. And here's your energy. Qu kind, understanding, giving, psychic. Follow your heart, a love of home and family, trustworthy psychic information, and then the page of Raphael, gentle, loving, dreamy, open-hearted, a new emotional situation, messages regarding relationships or social invitations, great intuitive insights. So, wow, so, <laughs> put these here. So your man, so something here, a new beginning here, Something to do with your home, your stability. And you're being in your power here with the Queen of Cups energy. That's your energy. You may be getting an invitation to a wedding. I don't know. You know, the manifestation of a new beginning could just be someone maybe that you're very, very close to. Could be a family member. Could be a child. Could be a sibling or something like that. And maybe you're helping them plan their wedding here. Sending out invitations is with the page of Raphael. This is really random. So, <laughs> you know, with the communication, they're sending out invitations and doing all the work there. Definitely a loving situation. I don't know. So, I mean, that could be for some of you planning, helping to plan somebody's big day, I'm feeling. Wow. So let's get more clarity on this. What is going on here? What is going on here? These cards are huge. So let's get one more. One more. So we have the chariot and we have the ace of swords. Wow. So this is definitely a brand new beginning here. And moving forward, uh, here, so we have the Chariot, which is Cancer Energy, Archangel Metatron, Determination and Self-Control, Career Advancement, Acknowledgement of Success by Others, and then the Ace of Michael, Ace of Swords, Air Energy here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, a wonderful new idea, don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress, clear up communication, and there's the communication, problems with others. So, some of you could be helping to plan, like I said, somebody's big day or something like that, or helping somebody, um, you could be helping somebody move with the chariot energy. You could be actually, um, maybe, you know, you're being offered a promotion at work also, because the Ace of Michael is a brand new beginning. It's truth, it's clarity, communication, communication here. So I definitely see though, if you need, if you have this um, promotion offer coming into you that you need to speak up, speak your truths, like uh, if there's anything you disagree with or you don't like about whatever there is being offered to you, that you definitely need to communicate that, but in a loving way, not so much a loving way, but um, a peaceful way, I guess here. But, cause you wanna move forward uh, in a very balanced energy and you don't want to agree to something that you don't wholeheartedly agree with all the terms or conditions or something like that. You want it to be very balanced for you moving forward so that you can be successful. So different messages here I'm getting. So some of you it's career promotion. Some of you it's helping somebody pop the question. It's helping somebody plan their wedding or their big day or something like that. Or you could actually be moving into a new home. You know, maybe somebody uh, said, hey, you know, this home is for sale, my home is for sale, or something like that. And uh, you could actually be moving into a new home for some of you. So different messages here. So I guess take whichever message resonates for you. 
Okay, so let's see if we can sort of get like an actual situation here for some of you, Scorpio. Scorpio. Ah, on the floor. Okay, I'm not going to read these reverse because they're sort of like tarot oracle cards. So, and the way they flipped out was kind of wonky. So, <laughs> well, we got more fire energy. So, here's the fire energy with Aries here. But I want to get one more. One more. Okay, so we have the Knight of Gabriel, which is the Knight of Wands. The Three of Wands, which is all fire. And now we have here 14 Solutions, Archangel Zadkiel. Success that comes from objective compromise, self-control, and patience, forgiving and healing energy. So this is Temperance, which can be Sagittarius. And this is also all fire, Leo Sag Aries. So this is moving forward, Knight of Gabriel, Knight of Wands, confident, enthusiastic, courageous, char charismatic. Time to take action, great passion for a cause instinctively knowing just what to do so moving forward you know definitely you're moving forward with something here moving forward with the three of gabriel here though uh prosperity arising from wise planning time to take the next step optimistic plans that turn out as expected so and this also talks of a period of you know making those plans knowing the direction you're going in but it's like a period of waiting sometimes uh for the right time to take action and moving forward again here's uh, self-control and patience so as you're waiting before you could take action here's having patience and self-control and compromise but being very successful also with the chariot energy so definitely I feel um, it says right here wise planning so planning something whether it's a big move it's a um, promotion, career promotion, planning a wedding, helping somebody plan to pop a question to somebody, you know, like an offer of marriage, you know, or something like that, like making a big surprise, you know, helping them uh, plan it all out. All right, so let's get, let's get, some clarifiers. So now we have a six of cups. Oh, that's too many. One more. One more. Okay, so we have six of cups here. Um, water energy again, which is your energy. So this speaks of people uh, from the past, uh, memories, nostalgia. So this definitely could speak of children, maybe one of your child, you know, one of your children here are either maybe getting married or and you're helping to plan that, or maybe your children are helping you move. Um, you're going to your children for advice about a promotion at work. Uh, but there's some sort of planning of a new beginning, but I do see new beginnings here in uh, success with the chariot energy. In manifesting that new beginning whatever it is or helping to manifest a new beginning uh, with somebody else for somebody else so you have the six of Raphael embrace your inner child new friends or rekindled relationships children or childhood so that's why I feel this could um, be your children helping you to move uh, asking their advice helping a child uh, plan their wedding or something like that or if you know if you have a male child helping them to make plans to pop the question or something like that so now you have the knight of michael and here's that air energy leo uh i cannot talk tonight uh gemini libra aquarius time to move quickly choose logic over emotion sudden changes so so again this you know you have the energy here of balance time patience so again, you know, things are moving forward very quickly with the Knight of Michael. This is a Knight of Swords. It moves very, very quickly. But it's telling you to remain logical. You know, this is probably sudden changes or very um, quick planning here or something like that. But it's telling you to um, be very illogical over whatever's going on here. 
and definitely uh, old friends, family, children here helping you out or you're helping them in something here. All right, so you could have a child that is an air sign. Also, could be a Gemini. Gemini or Aquarius, we have Aquarius, Gemini, both air signs. All Libra, Libra is also an air sign. All right, so let me put the camera down so you can see the cards. All right, so let's get some advice for you. Let's get some advice for you, Scorpio. These are like random messages, and I don't think I ever really uh, delivered messages quite like this before. <laughs> Sometimes the readings tend, tend to be the same about, you know, cycles ending, new cycles beginning. This is all about quick planning, quick, su quick successful planning of something here. All right. So let's get advice for you. One, two, and whatever this is for you. So we have the moon, Archangel Haniel, the opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, face your fears, and grow stronger. Wow, we've got two major arcana here. And then we have the lovers, Archangel Raphael, make choices from your heart, deep, deeply emotional commitments, the power of love. So... You know, the moon energy here, uh, maybe there's some things you don't know about whatever the situation is here. Um, but I see that if you learn more about whatever is going on here, uh, I think you can make e either better planning or better choices. So maybe you need to do a little more research or, you know, have more conversations with um whatever's going on for you. Again, with the lovers here, I definitely feel like you could be helping somebody here. I'm getting like your child or something like that, plan their wedding or to propose here. Maybe that's the secret. You're helping, <laughs> wow, it's like right here. The secret, it's a secret here with the moon. Secret, it's a big secret planning. The lovers here, planning this proposal, this wedding, this surprise proposal or something like that. Wow. So <laughs> don't tell anyone. That's uh, the advice here is if you're if it's a secret here, not to uh, let the cat out of the bag for some of you, if that's what it is. Or if you're making a decision here, like to buy a new home or to move, you know, the lovers is, could be just, just about making decisions for yourself that are better suited for you, following your heart. But find out everything you need to know first before rushing in and making this decision. The lovers about decisions. All right, so let's get a couple more clarifiers for your advice. Got one. Got one more. Two. Oh, this. Just take the top one. Okay, so we have. The five of Michael, the situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. Hmm. I don't know why that's here. And three of Raphael, reasons to celebrate. A community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships with children. Wow. <laughs> so, again, with the three of cups here. Celebration, you know, wedding, it's a time of celebration. Or if you're moving, celebrating, having housewarming parties and things of that nature or you uh, take a career advancement and now you're going out with friends and co-workers and celebrating having a few drinks but he has you know, you know the situation doesn't serve you so release your attachment to the outcome consider taking a more uplifting approach so huh I don't know why that's here I mean if you're moving maybe you know, where you're currently residing is no longer serving you. So that could be just a message for some of you who are moving, as with the chariot energy. Uh, and maybe you're worried about the outcome, about worried about where you're moving and if, you know, your home will be well suited for you, if you like the neighborhood and all that sort of thing here is to have a more positive, uplifting outlook moving ahead. And maybe you're even moving back home. I just placed this on the Six of Cups, which talks about the past, childhood, 
So maybe you're thinking of moving back home, but you're a little worried about it. Because where you are now, you're just not happy. But then for some of you, you have rejoicing, celebrating, having happy times, which could be a wedding. Um, if you're taking a promotion, going out celebrating. Different, like three different messages here. So whatever your situation is, let's see what the outcome will be. So we have justice. Here's Libra with air energy. Archangel Raguel. Fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. So whatever you're doing here, don't give up. Keep moving on. The scales will be balanced. Uh, and everything will be fine. Everything will go uh, in the right direction. Go the right way. So there's no need to worry. All right. So let's get a couple more clarifiers on that. One, two. Well, more fire energy here. So the page of Gabriel. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure. Nine of wands here and nine of Gabriel. Stay determined and move forward. Again, with the chariot over here. Be prepared for any possibility, environmental activism. So I do see, you know, things working out here. Um... Page of Gabriel, energetic, brave, optimistic, playful. It's again telling you to remain positive, to be brave, energetic as you're moving forward, whatever you're doing here. In the nine of Gabriel is that determined, determined energy to keep moving forward. So just keep moving forward, stay passionate, and uh, things will be going in the right direction. Things will be working out. There'll be happy times, celebrating. If you're worried about taking a promotion here, um, and this could be, again, what the page of Gabriel could be, um, the offer coming in of a, a job promotion or even a new job. And maybe you're a little worried about that, but I think you can do it and you'll be fine. Just find out everything you need to find out before you make the decision, but it'll be fair and just and balanced here with the justice card. And then the bottom of the deck, we have Peace, Archangel Azrael. Release the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. So I believe, I'm trying to think now what this is. 13 Peace. Could be the death card, but I'm not sure. So this is just to tell you here that... Um, just to trust in the outcome, in the universe, the divine energy, and that you have a more enriching future coming in whatever your situation is here. The King of Raphael. So there's your energy, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, warm, generous, honorable, refined. So we have the King and Queen here of Cups. Yes, it is safe to trust, the ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. So definitely being in your power here. Moving forward with the King and Queen of Cups. Ten of Michael, the situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. Ten of Swords is about an ending. So if you're leaving a home, leaving a job. So this could be about going to a new, moving to a new home. Either taking a new job or something like that. Um... It's just time to put it behind you and you have these new opportunities coming in. So wishes coming true here with the star energy Aquarius, Archangel Jophiel. A dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. So exactly. Here's the peace. Here's harmony, balance, uh, healing energy, wishes and dreams coming true. Having faith, hope and optimism with the star energy as you move forward. And there's again... With the aid of Gabriel, a great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. So travel, action, communication, again, fire energy. Again, with the nine of Raphael, make a wish, dreams come reality, a joyful time of life. Exactly. Wishes and dreams coming true, happy and joyous. Communication, travel for some of you, moving or just a lot of action, you know, a lot of activity and planning, whatever you're planning here. Hope, faith, optimism, and healing. Some people are ending things and going on to new things. New home, new job, new career. 
uh, transforming out of that. I do believe this is death, I think. I'm not sure. And being in your power with the King of Cups. All right, so let's get some extra messages here for you, Scorpio. Extra messages, yeah, extra messages for you here. Scorpio, what do we have for Scorpio? Whoa, well, I guess that's your card. Did you see that flip? The Horse King, Assistance Control. So this is telling you, you know, if you need assistance, don't be afraid to ask for assistance. If you see, see and this is also, could be you, you know, maybe you're in control of everything here and you need help, you need assistance in making decisions. That's going to be where your old family, friends, and children come in. If you're moving, taking a new job, seeking advice, helping to plan something, maybe you have, uh, maybe you're in charge of planning the whole wedding or something here. But this is telling you, although you're assist assisting in all this, that you can't always control everything. And if you need assistance, don't be afraid to ask for help from somebody moving forward. You see the horse, you know, moving forward. 42, 6 is about peace, harmony, balance. All right, so anything else? Anything else? Anything else? The ringmaster of scrutiny, discernment, clear vision, and detail. So, yeah, you're really paying attention to the details, or you need to pay attention. Uh, to the details, whatever you're planning or doing here. Uh, needing to know all the details is with the moon energy here. Having a clear vision, clear communication, ha you know, knowing all the clear facts, everything you need to know, and making a very discerning decision here moving forward. Nine um, here is all about, you know, almost at the end of a completion here. Dreams and wishes coming true. Keep fighting on. If you have stress, anxiety for some of you. Also being single and stable. All right. Or maybe you're the one even getting married. I mean, this could go so many ways. You could be the one getting married. Or you could be helping to plan a wedding for a child. You could be moving. You could be taking a new job or promotion. This could go so many ways, so however it resonates for you. Is there anything else? You see all the cards. Let's move these over. Anything else for Scorpio? Anything else for Scorpio? The River Queen and how fitting. Water, and you are a water sign. Flow, letting go, natural movement. So, you know, going with the flow, don't, you know, worry or be anxious or nervous. Um, letting go of all complete control here. If you need assistance, you know, ask for it. And just uh, be natural. Natural flow of things. The River Queen. Nine again. So we have nine, nine. Two nines here. So you, you may be at, almost at the ending stages here of moving or stepping into that new job or career or promotion or maybe this wedding is almost coming up here or maybe you're getting married i mean whatever whatever that resonates for you so now we have wise woman of wonderland integrity compromise 21 3 is all about you know reuniting coming together working together compromise teamwork so now having integrity in yourself and those around you doing what's right moral and just and compromise learning to compromise and you don't have to control everything you know compromise give others delegate you know if you need to and compromise with others if you need to also okay Scorpio I'm just curious what's under that okay so that was your general reading for the second half of September if you do like my style, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love, so don't miss out on that. Um, I do ask, though, if you don't like all the notifications, that you please don't unsubscribe. You can as easily go and un 
check the bell and you'll no longer receive notifications but you'll still be subscribed you'll have to go look for my uh, videos in your subscriptions area kind of randomly and uh, if this didn't resonate for you you can check in the description box below for past playlist and maybe something there will resonate for you I'd say disregard the times dates on them If you see something that resonates watch it anyway I do consider them all timeless Okay, Scorpio, good luck to you. Whatever you're planning or doing or moving or whatever here, uh, good luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.